Hi, it's Fiona Masterson from the Learning Reservoir. In this video, I'm going to explain to you how to figure out the FDA CGMP requirements for combination products. As the constituent part of the combination product establishes the GMP regulations. Even though it is a combination product, we must know what are the combinations that made up that product. So in other words, what are the constituent parts that went into that combination product. The constituent parts of a combination retain their regulatory status as a drug or device, for example, after they are combined. So even though they go into this one product to form a combination product, they're always viewed as being a combination of a drug or device. That's never forgotten. That's really important to remember. So they retain the regulatory status as a drug or device, even though they are a, now a combination product. And accordingly, the CGMP requirements that apply to each of the constituent parts continue to apply when they're combined to make the combination product. So when, for example, in a drug do, a drug eluting stent, you have the drug and the stent it comes together to form a drug eluting stent. Our constituent parts in this case is our drug and our medical device, our stent. And accordingly, the CGMP requirements for a medical device must be adhered to and for a drug must be adhered to when you're manufacturing a, a, a drug eluting stent in a premises. So you must implement the rules for drug CGMPs and for medical device GMPs. Still a little bit misty on this topic. I still find this a bit foggy. Uh, questions like, oh, wow, that's really complicated. There's so many different elements of the drug GMPs. There's so many different elements in the medical device GMPs. How, how is that possible? How, how can you um, implement both systems in the one facility? Can you pick and choose what bits of the different regulations that you implement in this, the GMPs for drug device combination product in your facility? This seems a bit confusing. Um, we need some more support. It's still a bit foggy. It's still a bit mis misty, these regulations for me. And thankfully, as I said before, the FDA have written a guidance document. Uh, so it's the current good manufacturing practice requirements for combination products final guidance document. I'll put a link to this guidance document in the description section of this video and a link to the CGMP regulations. That's it folks. If you liked what you heard and saw in this video, please hit the subscribe and like.